Hi everyone, this is Simon from White Sky Photographics. Uh, I'd like to thank the guys over at Intro 2020 for allowing me to uh, test out this new unit on the market. This is an Astro Tracker. Um, it's from Slick. It's called the ECH 630. Um, and I've also got uh, one of the uh, little wedges that you can get with it as well called the SMH 250. Um, now, a couple of specs about this little unit is that you can power it off of four AA batteries. It's even got um, a little USB port on the side that you can actually power it off of the USB sticks that you use, um, such as the power banks and things for charging phones. Um, it can take roughly around about uh, two kilograms worth of weight for camera gear on top. Um, I've got a, a Canon 6D full frame here in a Samyang XP 10 mil lens, and this is roughly just shy of two kilograms in weight. Uh, including the ball head as well um, so it can quite happily take this sort of weight um, it uh, has a couple of different modes set into it it'll do not only do astrophotography but it'll also do time-lapse photography as well a couple of little modes when you switch it on uh, as we screen on the front here it allows you to choose various different functions and uh, you can have a star mode uh, as well as uh, tracking sun, the moon, and there's also a half speed function as well. And then within the time lapse uh, function, you can actually control which way you want the motor to go, uh, how many rotations, um, and also the degrees over what period of time. Um, you can even get it to have a swing mode, so it actually goes one way and then stops and then come back over a set period of time. So quite a lot of functionality built into this little unit. Um, some easy uh, ways of aligning it as well underneath two little holes here used for getting your polar alignment um, makes it very very easy if you've got it set out on this little wedge um, that's already kind of purposely designed so you can actually get your angle correctly aligned for your in this case we're in the northern hemispheres so it would be the pole star a um, couple of little fine tuning knobs on the top here there's a big knob on the side here which allows you to adjust the angle get it close and then the fine tuning knobs you you'd spin and that will just fine tune it um, the other fine tuning sides on here will actually allow you to control the rotation um, quite a clever thing that's underneath on the plate of this wedge it's actually designed for Arca Swiss uh, units as well so I've actually got it mounted on my little uh, uh, Mambilly 360 uh, pano head here so enabling me to very quickly find find north position uh, lock that off and then drop this on top because you can unscrew clip it on and uh, and then fine-tune it and uh, it seems to be quite easy to use very self explanatory the menu system on here is very easy to use um, top plate on here as soon as you've got this lined up you can mount on your uh, bull head and you're ready to go um, it'll be interesting to try to see what it's like I'm hoping to give this a, a try in the next couple of weeks once it st starts getting a bit darker up here in uh, Aberdeenshire in the northeast of Scotland and we will see what we can do. Um, so I'm looking forward to testing this out. Um, it's nice and compact. It folds down compact wise into, into a small space and uh, very, very lightweight to carry around. I think the mm. whole reason of the code, the 630 stands for 630 grams. So it's it's about it weighs about as much as a... Uh, a 50 mil lens so uh, it takes about the same amount of space in your bag so uh, nice and compact and the fact you've got nothing else to carry around with apart from the the, the wedge here um, putting it all together should be quite easy so we will give it a test in the dark and we will see what results we get from it and uh, I will do a follow-up video to this to see uh, what the results we do get from it thanks very much for uh, for watching and we hope to speak to you soon thanks very much bye bye